Hello everyone, my name's Cody, and in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily remove background selections of a picture, making them transparent. The program that I will be using is called Paint.net, and I will put links to download this software in the video description. Paint.net is a great and simple editing program, and just like it says when downloading, if you paid for it then get your money back because this software is free, but feel free to give donations. Also feel free to decline this message here, this is just an additional download for the Delta toolbar, this does not affect your download for Paint.net. So once you've downloaded Paint.net you will need your picture. So for example purposes I'm going to take this picture of the Ghost Recon Future Soldier logo and open that up as a bigger image, the bigger the better for quality reasons and I'm just going to save that as well, there we go. Next open up Paint.net, go to open and then find your picture, there we go. So for this picture I want to keep the text and remove the white background because I want to put the logo on a picture to make a YouTube thumbnail, but currently the white background will just get in the way. So this is how to remove it. So first of all click on the magic wand down in the bottom toolbar here and the shortcut key is S. As you can see at the top here with tolerance you can change how much and how sensitive you would like the magic wand to be. So for this one I'm just going to select near 50% tolerance and I'm going to select the background with the left mouse click button and then followed by delete key on your keyboard. There we go. Then for this picture I'm going to take away all of the background selections as well that are in the middle of the text. Same process once again just select and delete. There we go. And finally file and save as and here it is very very important that you save it as a GIF file type. This is how you make it transparent. And I'm going to rename the finished version as GRFS logo done. There we go. Now we can also choose the differing options. That's the overall blend quality. And you can also change the transparency threshold as well. With 0% transparency of course taking away the transparent background effect. So we don't want that. And then finally when you're happy just click the OK button. So just another quick example, in this case I could also remove the inside of the text. Same process, magic wand select and delete. Or for a faster method you can hold down the shift key and left click the selection. This selects all and then just hit the delete key once again. And now saving it as GIF file type and renaming this one as GRFS done clear. There we go. So if I go into Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD, this is the video editing software that I use and it can be bought for around about 30 great British pounds and that's about 45 US dollars I believe. And here you can see a background picture, some text, a border and a video snapshot of a game of Ghost Recon Future Soldier. So all I want to do is add the logo to add some professionalism. So I'm just going to insert the two edited logos into Sony Vegas properties and uncheck the maintain aspect ratio and disable resample this improves image quality especially with videos i like to then change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 to then give it a wide stretched look as well now you can see i'm just going to move that to the top and scale it nicely to fit in the uh, open area and i'm doing the same with the clear logo version just to compare them both then once i'm happy with that i'll then click on the save snapshot icon at the top there in my editing software and that's it i've got a thumbnail Anyway, that's it guys. I hope this video helped. If it did, please could you hit the like button and support my video and share this video with your friends if you think it'll help them as well. If you've got any questions or if you'd like me to do any more tutorials or anything like that, just leave me a comment. Links are in the video description and thanks for watching. Cheers guys. I've had a few people ask me how do I remove background noise such as static from my gameplay commentaries. Well, I use the free recording software Audacity and I use an effect called noise removal. It's pretty fast and basic to understand, and I'm going to go over it step by step with multiple scenarios. Hi guys, my name's Cody, and this is audio test number one. 